Hi everybody, this is Kevin, and welcome back to another video, and today, I would like to share my thoughts on the recent announcement from Discotech regarding the Digimon movies, and how they finally have a release date, and are available for pre-order, which has me so excited because the original Digimon the movie, as it was called, is a big part of my childhood, that's a movie I've seen more times than I can even remember, and I just love it so much. However, one of the problems with that movie is the fact that it's really three OVAs edited and spliced together to create one cohesive narrative, and so for the first time ever with this collection from Discotech, we're going to be getting the three OVAs unedited with a full English dub, which you can go and, and watch the OVAs with Japanese voice acting and English subtitles, which I have done, but they actually went back and got as many of the original English voice actors as they could to reprise their roles for these three OVAs and a few new cast members, and it, it oh, I can't wait, man, I can't wait. And they're also including the original Digimon the movie with the original soundtrack as well, which is an iconic soundtrack from the late 90s, early 2000s with such bands as the Mighty Mighty Boss Stones, Less Than Jake, and Bare Naked Ladies One Week, uh, All Star from Smash Mouth. I mean, what a soundtrack. But anyway, let's go take a look at this post on Twitter from Discotech. And I should also mention too, I made a video last year when this was originally announced this, I think, was back in, in August. August 4th, I made this video. Discotech is releasing Digimon the Movies and Digimon Adventure 02 on Blu-ray, which that is out now. You can buy Digimon Adventure 02 and Digimon Adventure, the original one, uh, both English subtitles and an English dub, uh, which is great. And I think they're going to release Digimon Tamers at some point as well because the way they, they name this is it's Collection 1 on the box art, but let's just see right here. Digimon the Movies 1 through 3 collection is up for pre-order. The first three Digimon movies get the release fans have wanted for years. I mean, we really have. Like, as a kid, like I said, I watched Digimon the Movie a million times. And as I delve deeper into the internet, I learned that the Digimon movie is actually the three OVAs. I watched the three OVAs and it's like, where's the English dub? And here they finally are, all these years later. Plus... Digimon the movie has been remastered in HD. Lots to talk about for this one. So it's available for pre-order on the Crunchyroll store as well as Amazon. And the release date... Oh, what's going on there? Come on. <laughs> the release date, December 17th, 2024. So only a couple months now. We're already in September. And look at the price. I guess they have a discount on the Crunchyroll store. I'm not sure about the Amazon, but regularly $30. Now only $22.46. So, and you see Digimon the movies, the first OVA, Digimon Adventure, OVA 2, our war game, and then 3, Hurricane Touchdown, the Golden Digimentals, I guess they can't fit it there, but right there, and it's going to be English and Japanese as well, Movie Collection 1, you see that? So we might get the Revenge of Diaboramon, the Digimon Tamers, I think there's two OVAs or two movies from that, there's a bunch of other Digimon movies they can remaster, uh, so you got all that. That's available for pre-order right now. I already pre-ordered it. And it's on Amazon, too. First up, the first three Digimon movies are here, uncut in the original Japanese with English subtitles. Plus, all three brand new English dubs with the classic, beloved cast featuring Joshua Seth, who plays Ty, Brian Donovan, who plays Davis, or Daisuke, and all your favorites. And we're going to go through behind the voice and go through all the voice actors because they got everybody. They got pretty much everybody they could, unless they're no longer in the voice acting industry or they sadly passed away, as well as some new cast members, including Shirami Lei, who is one of my favorite voice actors of all time, voicing Lotmon in Hurricane Touchdown. And I just love it, man. It's so good. So, plus some well-known voice actors newly joining Digimon along with some great, fresher faces. So, what's here? And they have some more screenshots from the movies, of course. Movie 1, Digimon Adventure, originally from 1999. Learn the origins of the Digi-Destined in the story of Tai and Kari's first encounter with a Digimon. 
Will Greymon be able to defeat the fearsome Parrotmon? Or will it Squawk's Doom Heightened View Terrace? Find out in this prequel, Digimon Adventure. There you go. Movie 2. This one, this is everyone's favorite. And for good reason. Movie 2. Our War Game. Originally released in 2000. Spring Break turns into a summer war. <laughs> Funny how they use that because the director of that OVA went on to make a movie actually called Summer Wars, which is very, very influenced by this movie, by the OVA, our war game. But anyway, Spring Break turns into a summer war when the evil Diaboramon, don't interfere, wreaks havoc on the net. And Ty and Matt must achieve a new Digivolution to defeat him. Will Ty and the Digi Destin save the world? And will, S will Sora ever forgive Ty for giving her a haircut? Oh, that subplot, of course. So there you go. And then movie three, which I guess they're just going to call it Hurricane Touchdown, not the Golden Digimentals. But movie three, Hurricane Touchdown, also from 2000. After the older Digi Destined are taken away by the mysterious Kokomon, that was pretty much completely omitted in the original Digimon the movie. But all the original Digi Destin are there. After the older Digi Destins are taken away by the mysterious Kokomon, the next generation of kids team up with American Digi Destin Willis to rescue them, only to discover that their enigmatic enemy has an unexpected connection to their new friend. Oh yeah, some really great stuff there. And you see right there, there's Mimi, which, yeah, she wasn't in the original Digimon the movie, just in the R War Games section. And then finally, my childhood, Digimon the movie. All three movies were put together into a single narrative for US theaters in the year 2000, and it's been newly remastered in HD with the unique video elements and the legendary soundtrack. Did Disco Tech know I was gonna make this video of that? The legend is one of my catchphrases. I guess they must have. This has a 5.1 and 2.0 audio plus optional captions if you need or want them. Oh my god, it's so Kino. We are so back. And then there's even more. Extras aren't ready to be announced for Digimon the movies, but there is a solid selection of treats for fans with content ranging from 1999 to newly done for this remaster. So that's interesting. Yeah, there's gotta be some behind the scenes stuff. And perhaps the new cast members all got together and, and performed something where they had a Q&A or whatever. And you had Joshua Seth, who is pretty much retired from the voice acting industry. And, you know, he can reflect on voicing Ty again. Something like that is what I'd expect anyway. Uh, but here you go. And here's the box art, which we saw in the Crunchyroll store. Digimon the Movies 1 through 3 collection is the ultimate release of these three movies. Subbed, dubbed, and Digimon the movie. Fans have been waiting for a great release and dreaming they can get one this special. It's the return of the adventures too big for TV. Oh my god, man. And you see the fans here just so excited they all pre-ordered it. I love it, man. I love it. I already pre-ordered it. I can't wait. It's so good. Uh, we already talked about it. It's over here. It's also on Amazon. Although you can't pre-order it yet on Amazon. They have like a thing. It says not available, but they have it there. It's kind of weird. That's why if you want to get it now, just pre-order it through the Crunchyroll store. But behind the voice, I wanted to talk about that because like I said, they got pretty much everyone to reprise their roles. All these, uh, cat, like, I love how Michael Surich is even doing the cat. <laughs> He's doing the creature voice because they emphasize that for whenever it's necessary. Uh, Marissa Lenti here, she's actually the director, and she's directed a lot of other discotech uh, projects where they either redub things or it's it's a series that's only been in Japanese and then they dub it for the very first time. So thank you to Marissa Lenti for making this possible. But you see like so many great faces here like Wendy Lee, Colleen O'Shaughnessy, uh, some new people here like Elise Lovelock and Eli Farmer. And then, of course, I mentioned this in my video from last year, but Bryce Pappenbrook, his father, Bob Pappenbrook, was a very prominent voice actor in, like, the early, through the whole decade of the 90s, up to the early 2000s when he sadly passed away. And he voiced Greymon in the original movie, so his son is taking on the, mat the mantle and voicing Greymon in the redub, so that's a beautiful thing. Bryce had a post about it when he was initially cast for the role, and I think that's a, a nice thing to do. But 
some other good stuff. There's Jeff Nimoy, who voiced, uh, I think, Tentamon, and he was one of the the directors in the original Digimon series, but uh, some, some good stuff. And Robert Buckholtz, he's also a voice actor director, but he's most famous as Gene Starwin in Outlaw Star, voicing him, so good stuff right there. Then you have Digimon Adventure R War Game. Again, pretty much everyone reprises their roles. Um, they're all there. A few new ones, like I mentioned, Elise Lovelock and Eli Farmer. Uh, you got the, the legend Kirk Thornton and Paul St. Peter as Infermon Diaboramon. Don't interfere. He has that really uh, deep voice. There's Jeff Nimoy again. Sharami Lee, who I mentioned. And um, this is Jason Marmocha. I think the original voice actor for Gen I passed away, so he's another new cast member. And, uh, you know, you just see some of the other familiar faces and lots of good stuff. They even have additional voices. Alexis Tipton, I'm surprised she doesn't have a main role because she's a pretty prominent voice actor now. Uh, but yeah, some good stuff right there. And then with Digimon Adventure Zero Two Hurricane Touchdown. Uh, Brian Donovan, which Brian Donovan, he, he's literally only voiced two characters his entire career. Rock Lee in Naruto and Davis in <laughs> Digimon. Like, the dedication and the fact that he's constantly reprising his role is just great. But Derek Stephen Prince, Steve Blum, Wayne Grayson. I'm not sure if you guys are aware, but Wayne Grayson, he voiced Joey in Yu-Gi-Oh! But in recent years, he's been a part of a lot of these disco tech projects where they redub things. So it's great to see Wayne Grayson getting work and uh, awesome stuff. Um, there's Sharami Lee cast as Lotmon. I've mentioned this many, many times. She's one of my favorite voice actors of all time. Voices Lucy in Fairy Tale, Asuna in Sword Art Online. Just fantastic. I'm so happy she's voicing Lotmon. It's going to be great. Again, Paul St. Peter again. And these are all the original Digi Destined. So you just love to see it. So beautiful thing. And more credit to Marissa Lenti and the Disco Tech dubbing. They have the studio, Sound Cadence Studios, which this is a lot of the Disco Tech projects where they've uh, redubbed things. Gunbuster, which I don't even think Gunbuster had a dub way back in the day. That's like, that's uh, the, the guy from Evangelion. But recently, they, they've been dubbing these Fist of the North Star movies, and, and the cast on them, too, is amazing. Like, holy shit. <laughs> the way they're getting all these big names here is just, it's, it's great to see. And as I was scrolling through this before recording the video, I noticed this. They, they dubbed the Goddess of Victory Nikkei. Like, whoa. <laughs> when am I going to get the console game on the Goddess of Victory Nikkei? That's what I want to know. But I'm so happy, man. Another huge shout-out to Disco Tech is, ju is just the fact that They've been releasing other Digimon projects. Like, this one is its own thing. Digimon Adventure Zero Two, The Beginning. That was a movie that came out. But they also... Well, I guess these are sold out now. So, <laughs> where else could you buy them? But they, they did re-release the original Season 1 and Season 2. And like I mentioned before, the fact that this mentions Collection 1... I'm pretty sure we're going to get the other movies. We're going to get the Revenge of Diaboramon. We're going to get Tamers. We're going to get all sorts of other things. Um, because they've been... Re-releasing the others, remastered, and great stuff. And then another thing that I saw, because Discotech announced all this stuff the other day. Like, one of the things they released is this. MXC Most Extreme Elimination Challenge Set 1. Like, dude, I remember watching this on Spike TV back in the day, which I don't even think Spike TV exists anymore. But this was like a, a, a Japanese... Uh, obstacle course show that they got over in the U.S. and they redubbed it and <laughs> they have like all these these goofy uh, memes almost in the show where the guy's like, right you are, Ken. <laughs> it's just hilarious. This is getting re-released by Disco Tech. Like, what's it say here? What are these people running from? They're not. MXC returns of a collection of 51 episodes of Vic Romano and Kenny Blackenship commentating the wackiest competition known to man. 51 episodes, like, dude. And I saw this is on Crunchyroll to buy, too. It's only 30 bucks. Like, <laughs> I bought this, too, by the way. But, yeah, just, just for reference, like, Disco Tech releases all sorts of obscure things that were never released in English before or they're just not licensed anymore. Like, that looks like it's, it's an older series. Uh, I saw another one. There was, like, yeah, Sergeant Frog. Which I think, you know, that was released back in the in the mid-2000s and maybe doesn't have a, a good DVD or Blu-ray anymore. But they just, 
they, they find all the, like, Common Rider, they find all this stuff here uh, that doesn't have a license anymore, and they either redub it or remaster it or whatever. Oh, there, <laughs> there's the, the gifts from NX, MXC. Oh my god, that, that should be its own video, but... You know, Digimon the movies, guys. I'm so excited. I can't wait. I absolutely love it. And I can't wait to watch these movies again. Watch all three OVAs separately. And watch Digimon the movie again, complete with the original soundtrack. It's just fantastic. I encourage you guys to buy it as well, especially if you're Digimon fans. But even if you're not, if you buy this and, and watch it, you're going to love it. I guess I know it because I fell in love with it watching as a kid, so... It's just great. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Everybody have a great day. And peace out. 99.